saying good night. Good night. I've been hearing that you want to talk to me. So, you know. wh 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 why, why is it that um, it's so hard to reach, though? You know, honestly, there are thousands of messages and calls on WhatsApp. You know, it's 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 a lot of people, a lot of fans that contact me. Yeah, um, and normally when I bring um, a f um, the guests, them, I always like print my look of flyers and promote them and all them because something is like, we never want to be like this, but it happened though. Well, we could go at it again. Don't, don't you like to like go twice, once, twice, not just once per night? You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Manala, yes, I do. Nice. Yeah, for 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 for, for you enjoy it. I, I, you have to go more than once. Of course, and I'll have you coming back again and again and again. Very confident. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, is 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 that like a self praise or or, your, or what? Uh, what do you think, Lava? I got thirteen kids. The panani good. Thirteen good kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um. Oh, 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 is the first one. Isabel, I had that one when I was like 15, 15 yeah. years old, and I'm 51 now. Okay, do the mats. Perfect. But so. you do the mats. The coochie's still good. Don't see, uh, so, so, um, listen. Earlier, I was, uh, earlier I was watching on your life, but I was like watching life for like two minutes after it cut off. But, um, but, so when I tell me, you like you talk to your son. So, I know why your son is near you. My son is nowhere around. He's downstairs with Beanie Man right now. Beanie Man? Yeah. We're staying at the same hotel. Uh, my, my mind, my mind loves travel all over the world. Mm -hmm. and, and the people in mind love travel. It could explain, like, staying at the same hotel, like, staying at the same place or different room or... No, it's a beautiful hotel, and Bean Man is here with his family. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. and I'm here with my son. So, you know? um, pleasant good night. Welcome to Chattanooga. Good night. I'm sorry, but, you know, not a lot of light in, in this room, but, you know, I got to be close to the charger. Right. Um, and I thank you very much um, to be a part of Chat and Laugh. Oh, definitely. It's like, um, before we make, um, ca um, continue now, we need for like, we need some, get some contact with you, like, so we can do one more, one different one, bring flyers and such and such and, you know? Right. Um, right. I don't know my number offhand, but I'm going to write you right. and, and leave my number with you. But I would, I think it's best if you like call me directly. Yeah, okay, you yeah. know, because my WhatsApp is loaded. Yeah. Loaded. Yeah. Because, because we can see that like, you are uh, um, a hip hop artist as well, dancehall artist, right? Yeah, hip hop, dancehall, R and B. Yeah. Right. So if be able to right there, you have all different type of producers and like people, media people and journalists, you know. But mm -hmm. you, you you need like a PR manager like to reach out like your heart to get. Ah. Oh. I just fired the mother ever. Oh my god, here we go now. What you talking about? It's lava. You know he set me up, mother ever set me up. Right now I can't leave Jamaica. Oh. My, <laughs> my PR, my... yeah. My PR, you know, we had this argument. Yeah. By the time I reached the hotel, the cops came for me and he reported to them that I came to Jamaica and that I'm all over Jamaica and you know, you know, it was so they arrested and charged me, you know, and trying to make an example out of me right now. When by arrest and charge, oh, like, like, oh, something, so, him tell life on you then, in our way, probably no one said for you, but him tell a life on you then. Um, he told them that I broke the quarantine, what they call it. Yeah, he oh. told them that I was all over Jamaica when really and truly, you know, um, I'd gone to the interviews that he set up for me, the television oh, interviews okay. and the radio interviews. But he he had um, set up an interview for me on Ari FM. Okay. And, uh, you know, he said they needed a certain amount of money, you know? Right. So I sent him $850, which I shouldn't be paying for interviews. Right. So I sent him $850. 
and then he called me and said that the interview will be conducted in the U.S. that REFM will call me instead, right? Right, right. So I said, that don't make no sense because I'm here and I pay all that money I expect to do the interview in person so that right. my goodies can call in. Right. So he gets upset, called me Dutty Gallamari. Next thing I know, um, after he called me Dutty, he tell me to go ask my mother. And pause, 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 pause. How long are you here? How long are you here? I've known forever and I really, yeah. I really love the dude. And I, 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 I can't see wh why you would do this to me because I, I, the thing though, I saw it coming because I sent a lot of money to him from the US. Right. You know, and since I came down, I gave him a grant. You understand? And. Uh, you know, I would have, I would have spent up to even ten grand with him while I'm in Jamaica. Once he provide the goods, you know, but he don't want to provide the goods, but he want the money. Oh, okay. So next thing I know, he called the Ministry of Health on me. I come here, cops come into my room. They they treat me like a criminal. You know the guy that died recently, and they had the march in the U.S. Yeah. That's how he held me with my hands behind me. And had me dragging in the hallway. Well, on, well, on, well, on it. The, the guy with um, and it cops him kneeling in neck. Yeah. Well, you know, they call it an egglock. Mama, Mama, don't tell me say the, the, the police are my to make a kneel in the neck, you know? No, they put my hand. They put my two hand behind me, push out my chest. Yeah, push up, so. Them, them slam it on the wall. I slam it anyway. I wasn't slammed in the wall, but the way he locked my hands behind me like I was a big man with muscles. Right. Right, and then he pushed me in the hallway. You, 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 um, you're the resist arrest? No. So no, I can't, I can't fight the car. So why did he do that, though? What happened was, when he was talking to me, my son said that you need to put your mask on. So when my son said that, I agreed with him. And I right. said, you need to put your mask on. And he says, he's not putting on his mask. So I started to curse bad word and said, you need to put your effing mask on. Right. And that's when he jumped me. You know, everything is on camera on Facebook. That's when he jumped me. Um, he tried like twice to draw his gun on me. And then he grabbed me by the hand, um, put my both of my hands behind me, um, pushed out my chest. Yeah. And I swear to God, I could not breathe. I could not breathe. I thought the guy was going to kill Oh, my God. He's so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. But my PR, my PR. So, so, so you know your PR, I know. I know because the information that they have, only my in me coming to Jamaica, only my PR knows where Amari is and everything. Only my PR, because my PR arranged for I think ITV to um, interview me. Right. You know, in this area, he knows everything about me. Okay. So after that, no, you get into try to get in touch with him. Yeah. You, not not try try. You know, <laughs> the, the guy, remember the guy works for the Observer, this star, the cleaner. So now he's just brandishing stories out there about me and that I'm even a, a topic to the prime minister. He's letting everyone know that this one quote of unquote American came down and got arrested and he went as far as to give out my old address luckily when the police asked me for my address I gave them a old address and now the address is in the newspaper how are you going to do what that? he put um he, how you don't put the person's street the person's city the person um how are you gonna do that so you know you just know, such a wicked act Yes, he put out all my information right now in the Observer. Luckily, I didn't give him my Orlando address. The address that he had is a house that I owned before. Right. And, and luckily, my son David saw that, you know, he should not give out our correct address. And David gave him the address, and they ran with it. Oh, my God. You know, so he's out to totally destroy me. 
you know, um, the min Ministry of Health came, whatever information she received, she was determined for me to go to jail. So they arrested me, they charged me, you know, I got to go to court on Wednesday. Well, on it, chat to a lot of people, y'all need to share the show right now, people, people need to know this, please share the show, share it right now, please, please share it. This is wickedness. I can't you just imagine they go to right there. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I don't know if you're a show. Oh, 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 right now I'm in lockdown basically because I had to choose. They say it's either you sit in jail and um go to court on Wednesday or you go back to the hotel, which I'm paying three hundred and fifty dollars per night. What? They say it's either you sit in jail or go back to the hotel. You uh, they took they they say we will they took my passport. Yeah. They took my green card. Whoa. I'm not allowed to leave the compound and I have to pay the hotel for more dates. Although I was supposed to leave today at two thirty. So, so what if you don't have any more money to pay for the hotel? Oh, they have to sit in jail. That's wickedness. So even if you have your business money put away, then you have to go in your business money. Just be prevent from not going to jail. Yeah, I did. Because, you know, they had no right to arrest me. Because before I came, I applied for a business authorization to come to Jamaica. I didn't come to Jamaica like a regular person. I came right. as a businesswoman. Yeah, I, but, 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 but listen, you're not a regular person. You're, you're married. Come on. Exactly. But right. I came on behalf of I came on behalf of um my business, which is Phantom Fireworks Record Label and Select Pro, because I have a new pro, uh, some protein shakes that I'm launching and all of that. Right. So I had to apply for an authorization to enter the country. The authorization was approved. They say when I come to the country, I should conduct business, but make sure I come back to the hotel. Right. So I had to choose um, one of the like 10 hotels that they had listed. And I had to choose a hotel in the tourist area. Okay. So that's how I end up paying $350 per night to, to be here. And you know the worst thing about it, um, I just recently took two surgeries. And mm. th those are very dangerous surgeries. I have to live a certain lifestyle. Even now I'm talking to you with my lips right. apart because I get dehydrated and stuff. And I was at the police station for hours. I, I, I was wondering if they don't have no criminals to go look for, if they don't right. have nothing to do. They had me there. I was starting to get sick and everything. They didn't care a damn. What and the they, fuck is going on? Yeah, they didn't care a damn. And they, they just made me a topic. Just that, a that's, topic. That's how the system in Jamaica is right now? I wouldn't say it's Jamaica. I would more say that... I, I would more say that my PR has power. He has power. He's a journalist. He has power in this country. So when he called up the lady from the Ministry of Health, that's her friend that is calling her. Oh, okay. She's not doing my favor. She, she I'm probably, he probably, he probably, he probably, he probably gave some of the money where you give him now for him pull up that stunt exactly. upon you. Exactly. Oh, the oh. Lava, the way the lady did the thing. She came inside and she mm. said she got to go outside to make a phone call. Next thing I see the two cops coming in. You don't move like that and expect me not to do nothing. You were talking to me. And that was a plan. That was a plan. It was all planned. And then she got to turn around and say, oh, I didn't bring the cops to lock you up. She said, oh, I wanted you to talk. No, you brought the cops to lock me up. Because you sneakily went outside, go get them. And that's when I realized that, Amari, this could very well be the end of you. And I say, I'm making sure that the world see what goes down in case I die. Oh, my God. It's so sad. Is this show a laughing show? Because I don't want to tell a sad story on a laughing show.
But he's vicious. Let me tell you something, brother. I, I, like about a year ago, yeah. I was living on the street. Right. Now, right? right, right. And let me tell you something. My daughter just called me and she said, Mona, I was everything to my PR. Right. My PR just had to pick up the phone, call me. He didn't have to tell me what the problem was. He just had to say, I need such amount of money. Right away. Uh, right away. I would sell it to his wife. Right away. You understand? My PR owes me so much money. Because there, there are times when you tell me that you, um, you're going to be on, on, on stage in Jamaica. Um, send me the money in advance so that I will pay everyone and get a date for you and all that. Right. You see, when I send down all those money, next thing you tell me, don't come to Jamaica. I'm in America. You know? Mm. And when I'm ready again to come, he said, don't come to Jamaica. COVID-19, whatever, whatever. So I was determined this time. So with him having all that money for me, I finally came. The first three days I came, no sign of him. You, you don't even, you're always on WhatsApp. And now mm. that Am Amari's in town, he did not even say hi or hello. He said hi. I said hi, you know. Then eight hours after, he responded, are you here? I respond. Then I don't hear about nothing. Him scare me out. Yeah. Definitely. But to call the authorities to lock me up now, when the cop heard my story, they're saying, you need to have him locked up. But love, yes. to tell you the truth, I don't want to die in Jamaica. You understand? I know. You're not, you're not, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. Don't they will that. kill me. They will. Why? Why say that? Because the whole thing was set up. Because just the hair that he sent me to before everything went down in the middle of um, Portmore. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, what the fuck? What am I doing in this bad area? Why are you right. telling me meet you here? What the fuck going on? You're not supposed to come meet at the hotel, a uh, PR. You're supposed to come meet at the hotel. You tell me you can't come to Montego Bay. I rented an SUV. I, I don't even go nowhere with the SUV. Just the, his interviews. His interviews and I visited my grandmother's grave. You feel me? So mm -hmm. for a thousand bucks... For, for monies that I sent him before, I get nothing. He, he always don't do nothing and then just write an article and expect me to forget about that money. He took so much money to promote Black Hypocrisy, my song. And he tell me it's being played on TV and everywhere. I say, that's strange. Mm. I got so many goodies. And nobody ever saw me on television in Jamaica. What and the fuck? He, yeah. And then he said, okay, he's going to just write an article, we, even now that... What, what, what song was that? Black Hypocrisy. I'm telling you, it's a play on TV and, and I'll read it and I'll take your money and not like us up. Nothing don't go like that because he's a Black fucking Hypocrisy, wicked. Yeah, Black Hypocrisy relates to Jamaica. So whenever Jamaica have a big holiday coming up, yeah, he's yeah. like, um, Amari... The people would love to hear Black Hypocrisy because it right. relates to Jamaica. So I said, okay, you know, because I want the song to encourage the people. Uh, you, uh, hold on, you, you could give me like a acapella right now of, of, of that song, please. <laughs> My lips are parched right now, but yeah, um, but give me like a freestyle. Please. Basically, it's a singing, and um, it's like surrounded by the Caribbean Sea, third lar largest island of the Greater Antilles. One nation with strong leadership is part of, um, is part of the prophecy of, like, uh, you know, it's rapping. You know, right. I have 60 songs. I don't remember everything all that. My lips are part. On um, what song? Uh, 60. <laughs> 60 rap song? Um, reggae, dancehall, compa, R&B, but 60 release. Oh, my you know, God. That's a lot. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I've been writing songs forever. You know, and I'm, I'm the producer for all of them. I have my own record label. You know what I mean? Because I didn't want to... Like, well, hold, hold up, I don't, hold up. I don't, want to, I don't want to really, like, stretch your argument to a different section or take a detour on this conversation. But you write songs and you write all different genre songs. So, like... Yeah. Like, just saying, I'm just saying. Why mm -hmm. you don't, like, say... You're, you're, like, looking at things and say, okay, 
you are trying to write one good song like Fe Golly Bob and bring you back to the stream, mainstream. Would you do that? Oh, Golly? Yeah, if you don't write a good song for him. Can I, him, him, need um, someone, him, he need a writer. And you sound like a good writer. I, I don't think that Gully needs a writer. He just need, needs a good fuck. That's what he needs. <laughs> 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 Laugh. <laughs> no, for real. Well, you be by you need a good fuck. I, I don't understand. Yeah. He needs love. Gully, Gully easily feels unloved. You know, he just need back his lucky charm, his lucky unani, Amari. Cause you know when Ching um slapped him in the head with the padlock, yeah. he had the lucky punani, so he was still relevant. He ain't got it no more. I mean, if you're going to leave Amari Panani for Panani, like Olive Panani and all of that, you're going to fall from grace. Oh, my God. So, listen. So, if you know you have that lucky charm Panani. I do. Listen, listen, listen. Listen what I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. you. You know you have that lucky charm Panani. And you see, Godibap is like fading away. You, 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 you try to say, try help him out in a way or something. Oh, I would do the world for him. But but right now, I since I came to Jamaica, I got back in with my ex, you feel? Oh, my God. And, oh. and I, I left my ex for Gully. I was dating him and put nine, ten years and left him for Gully. You feel me? Right. So, so right there, I would put my life in danger if I do it a second time. Right. Yeah, oh. but all this time, I've been free. Even the third day when I came here, I was still free. Oh my gosh. So it's like getting back with my ex is just a couple of days old. Because he, you know, you keep, I keep waiting for so, that. So, so basically, that, that's it for God about that? I wouldn't say that because me and, me and my ex, we fight all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough relationship. It's, it's, it's not one that gives you rest. You, you never know. It could end, you know, it's, it's, we live on the edge because we both have bad tempers. Um, what, what sign are you? Um, I'm really the last day of cancer, July the 22nd. Oh. You know, and I'm, I'm normally a very, very quiet person, but he, he always says. Say, mm. say, you only blame yourself for like, say, golly bop, like, nah, you know, don't fall in a way like. You have that lucky charm put on it and see him go to not help him. You I did help him? him. I did help him a lot, but people don't know about it. Because he never tell the world what I do. But um, for a couple months, well, you know, last year, Yeah. I, I sent him a lot of money. Yeah. Even the day when he got kicked out of Olive's house, it was me who sent money to him. Even when his mother was in the hospital, right there and then it was me. You see, the thing is, I do so much, but nobody wants nobody to know. Oh. Because they want me for themselves. So they talk bad about me because they don't want you or anybody to know that I'm a good person because they don't want to oh. see anybody else. I understand that now. I understand people. People are so wicked. Mm-hmm. I sent him a lot of money until it became ridiculous. Um, that's when we say, where is Bob? Could it like you are freestyle or one again? Come was this me. yesterday on stage? Ninja Man Gully Bob create eat ways on for the clash, for the clash. Tell you that the girl that me done left Bob. Mm. Every man want to walk off for me. Mm. I come for me who run down, run come catch me. Mm. Full of glue, enough glammy tea. Oh. Lyrics galore, freestyle, fresh freaks. Oh. I'm the best, no contest. Oh. One got pussy with, one got a rest. Oh. Oh. Remember me, mm. cyberspace queen. Well. Bop the vegetarian lava, I swear he eat meat. Bombo <laughs> That, leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Leave it like that. Okay, um, 
on your life on your life early on when i say i say on your life like for a couple like a two minutes after you cut off and like me yes me hear that talk something like but i'm um, with pretty dan like what 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 what, 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 what pretty dan done to you what you done to pretty dan why why, why you guys can get along or something uh, we get along when pretty dan was in jail i prayed for i prayed for pretty dan Okay. I, I, I like I like pretty Don, you know, in, in, in the in the um in cyberspace, mm -hmm. you know, that's like my fantasy girl lover. Oh. You know, because you have two life, one in cyberspace, you know, Bob is my Bob is the one who I always cry for. Right. Don is my fantasy girl lover. Yeah. I, so I like that. So I'm gonna ask you a question. You ever say that to pretty Don before? all the time all the time because you know when you talk like when you talk about people you give them hype you know so i never i never think twice to talk about pretty dawn because she she creates a vibes of her own she builds her uh, her platform so i don't mind saying her name because you know she, she, she herself is hype you know uh, yeah you know so i know that when i say her name you know she gonna get more views and uh, but i i never feel like it's gonna affect me so it, it's somebody that i feel safe with you know okay i understand yeah so basically what you said to me like so many times um you know say if you're gonna mention pretty than name Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she get big like are you, are you a push her career then? No, she 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 pushing on her own, but I know once I say her name, my audience will know about her because wow. I I love a, a real person. To me, she's real, and 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 I see myself in her. You know, I like people who say it like it is. So, so if I even if I say bad about her, that's my way of pushing her. Oh, uh, okay. So, so, so in in cyber world, then, mm -hmm. so, you're yeah, pretty than fuck a lot in your cyber world, then. Oh, not yeah, because she was caught up with that other bitch, the one that put her in jail. Oh. You understand? And and that's because she fucked across his pussy. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my language. No, but that's her wife. He should have gotten with the queen. But that's her wife. Yeah, I, I can, pr pretty darn supposed to reach real far in life. I can see her on a, like a Tyler Perry show. Let me tell you something, Lava. I wouldn't mm. be here with you if I didn't see your heart. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So I see people's heart. I see her uh. heart. No, no matter how she conduct herself, I see her heart. I, I can tell she's a kind person. She's a good person. You know what I mean? So that's someone that I would not allow to fall in the industry. You know, oh. whether it takes money to save her, whatever, I would not. So, so pretty done. So, so basically, you know, so basically, way you have to pretty done and miss your pussy then? She, she should leave Cross's pussy alone. Because if a bitch get her out to a point where she have to slap her, that ain't the bitch for her. <laughs> you know, you know, bitch fighting around here. 